Here's the former Auburn kicker Daniel Carlson to get this one started. And off we go from Nashville. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. A lane opens here. He's past the 30. And they are not going to catch him. He's in. Touchdown, Tennessee. So a heck of a start to this one. We haven't even gotten settled in already in the end zone on the opening kickoff. And you know what happens, Tim? Now, now, now you got to translate what that means because I think for a team that just scored their defense, I think it, they've got to find some type of a play, multiple plays, that puts the ball in the air and allows for them to have some. There he goes, right side. Touchdown, Packers. A great effort there. 79 yards. And the Packers are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. Well, if they're going to make a game of this in the second half, they need a few big plays to go their way. That's one. And the way to get it done is to also conserve time. So to your point, that big play right here. A couple down to the 15-yard line. On third down, McLaughlin. Nice. And he's in. Touchdown, Steelers. A great effort there. Hitting double digits with his 10th rushing touchdown on the year. And the Steelers look like they're about to put an end to their two-game losing streak as they add on to their lead. So it's a pretty good season he's putting together running the football. That now 10 rushing touch points, so they'll be searching for something more on second and goal here. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And it's caught. Touchdown. From three yards out. And the Giants have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. Well, they had their chances in the first half, you remember, but had to settle for two field goals. This time, they come away with six. I think they actually got affirmation about what they were doing by getting it. Those are going to call the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. This is intercepted. There he goes left side. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six and a Charger TD. Well, the way things have been going to this one, Charles, it was only a matter of time before this defense got involved and made a big play, and they do right there. Gosh, this lead is so large, CD, and we're only in the first half. Yeah, and I think that's the thing that's so amazing about it. You mentioned this large lead. How's this their first takeaway of the game? And what a spectacular one it was. Adding to the lead. On that, well, that would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. He's got his man. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. A great effort there. His first touchdown on the year. And the Cardinals are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. Well, the hard part's done. Now they just need to split the post, tie it up, but then their defense is going to have to hold up to send it to overtime. Yeah, no matter what. I know there's an inclination in it when you have momentum to go for two here. And now remember, all touchdown. On play action, they'll throw. Flush to his right. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. 25 yards and the Raiders take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead so another touchdown there and even though we're still just here in the third quarter kind of hard now to see them giving up this lead and this is just an offense that's imposing its will right now you name it they're able to do it if you're the play caller whatever you want yeah that muddles things a little bit here this is third and ten again he'll drop to throw and he's got him. Touchdown, Saints. A great play there. His fourth touchdown on the year. And the Saints post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that's the kind of play he would have made as a rookie because usually your rookie season. Tackler to get about three yards, second down. 
On second down now, it's Barnes. And he takes this one in for a Brown score. A great effort there. His fifth rushing touchdown now on the year. And the Browns take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Well, nothing fancy there, Charles. You had three tight ends on the field. They were going to run the football. The defense knew it, but the defense couldn't stop them. And I haven't met an offensive line yet. That the for deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. It's picked up by the Cowboys. The big man get the oxygen tank ready. The 20, 10. And this is going to be brought back for a fumble return touchdown by the Cowboys. The big boy earning his lunch. That's what you call rumbling with the ball, Charles. Big man with football. He wasn't just earning lunch, Brandon. He was earning dinner. He was <laughs> midnight snack. <laughs> Everything that you could possibly do, he did it on that play to pick up the ball and go. Now, Cade York came from a defensive perspective, but now after the incompletion on second down, things may be changing. If they can come up with one more play, they might be able to get out of it with just a field goal attempt. And this is caught for a Bills touchdown. A great effort there. His sixth touchdown of the season. And the Bills get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. This is a crew that come out flat their last two games, both losses, but just judging by the energy level, they look different here early, and that touchdown shows toward the midway point of this NFL season, and we're underway on EA Sports. Fielded just outside the goal line. Well, now how about this return? He's to midfield. He's at the 30. 10. And he will score. Touchdown, Lions. And that right there is how you silence the home crowd. All week long in preparation, visiting teams talk about it. Okay, we've got to start fast. We've got to take the crowd out of it, as you just talked about. At the eight here for second and a yard, maybe a touch less. They'll set up the screen. This is Williams. Touchdown, Dolphins! from eight yards out and the Dolphins add on to their lead and it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week well, I've heard you use the term put away drive and that right there seemed like the definition of a put away drive yeah it certainly just pops right up out of the book doesn't it because up two scores already just wanted to possess the football keep converting and picking up first down according to the headlines but incomplete so the ball a little late getting there and it's third down now on third and long they'll look to throw he's gonna let this go for the end zone and that is caught touchdown falcons a big play there 47 yards and the falcons have taken a two touchdown lead now so a good start to the campaign so far for them here in week one. Yeah, all the things that you dreamed about in April and May and that you worked on in July and August, getting ready for this game, it's all coming together so far. Now the try here for the point after. Second and goal. Robinson will take this into the end zone. It's a Ravens touchdown. That's just a solid, methodical drive to start this game. And how about how it culminated? Doing exactly what they wanted to do, getting the ball downfield, and then running it into the end zone. I'm just telling you, partner, when you run it in rather than throw it in, that hurts a defense psychologically a heck of a lot more. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Again, he'll drop to throw. To the end zone, but knocked away and incomplete. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. Back to throw again. And this is taken in for a Washington touchdown. A great effort there. His first touchdown on the year. And the Commanders are looking to run it to 5-1 on the season as they add to their fourth quarter lead. 
But that makes this a two-score ball game, and you know the way this thing. McCaffrey following the penalty. They'll get this down inside the 10 for a pickup of about three. It's second and seven from the nine. Hurts. Touchdown, Jaguars! A nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Jags have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. As a general rule, quarterbacks don't want to lock in on a receiver before the ball is snapped. But in this case, based on the matchup he thought he was going to get. Not an easy spot here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. Here's Brown throwing on third and long. He sets to fire deep. He's got a man complete. Touchdown, L.A. A great play there. His fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Rams use the defensive breakdown to take the lead away here in the fourth. Might be seeing that one on the highlight shows tonight. The home run ball here in the fourth quarter to take the lead. There's nothing like being aggressive, preaching that to your team, and then following through. All the way through. Go ahead. Six. So here's the kickoff now as they'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. This will be fielded inside the five. Oh, a good return up past the 30. There he goes, right side. And he will score. Touchdown, Chiefs. They were already down two scores early. They needed something to try to stem that tide, and that certainly qualifies. A big play to get him in the end zone. It qualifies indeed because, let's face it, they don't get something done on this drive, turn it back over. This game could be 88 and out the gate early. What? 88 and out the gate? Yeah. Oh, what's that? Well, listen, I used to hear my old man talk. From deep in their own territory, they look to throw. Wide open receiver complete. The 30, 10, 5, and all the way in. Touchdown, Seattle. Now, I think it's safe to say we won't call many touchdown passes longer than that this year, Fargo. No, I would agree with that totally. And right now, you're looking at an offensive coordinator. Conservative would not go next to his name. <laughs> Risk taker, definitely, because he valued the opportunity to create a big play against what could have been disaster if they end up getting sacked or fumbling the ball. You figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Looking to throw. Colbert. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. Ninth play of the drive coming up, and certainly not an easy one on third and long. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. Touchdown, Jets. A great effort there. His second touchdown on the season as his guys are able to extend their lead. There are several elements to a well-executed screen pass. This one resulted in a touchdown. It had all of those elements. Hey, you're so right because you really need the rush. Let's get to the quarterback. But let's get to the passer. Second and goal. Back even further. Operating from the gun. Devlin throwing middle, and it's complete. And he'll get seven yards from the 17 to the 10 before he's taken down. To throw on third and goal. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And nothing but daylight ahead. The 40, 30, 20, 10. And they are going to bring this one back. It's a fumble return, a scoop and score for the Vikings. A big run third down. Here's Fields. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. He's got a man complete. There he goes, right side. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. And boy, CD, it's one thing to watch a great run, but when it's a great run with broken contact, it's like a cherry on top. That was a nice play. Yeah, this is a guy who runs with such balance and control. I mean, he went through that early contact just like he was driving over a speed bump. And he's able to continue his way downfield and wind up. Here's first and 10. 
Back to throw. Meeks. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. A 21-yard touchdown run. And the Bears are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. up incomplete here's second and eight over the middle it's complete touchdown Broncos a great play there in the final seconds of the first half and the Broncos have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half that's one of the better examples of clock management I've seen whittled it all the way down just about and still put the ball in the end zone. Yeah, just a methodical drive and something really to take into the lockers here. Throwing on third down, Hill. Now look at this, they get the turnover they needed, it's intercepted. And into the end zone, a pick six for the 49er D as they score the touchdown. Well, I mean, both offenses have clearly struggled throughout, so kind of fitting that it's another big defensive play that yields points here in the late going. Yeah, really, both of these defenses have been up to the task throughout this game, and we haven't seen much in terms of offensive creativity or results. And there, not only does the defense... Force Again on second and goal after going backwards to the 12. Again, he'll drop to throw. Well, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And they will score a pick six for the Texans TD. Well, it's only the first quarter, but that's a quick shift of momentum right there because they were driving the football before that interception, and then... Not only, Charles, do they throw the pick, but it gets returned all the other way for the score. I think the important thing here was it backed up in their own territory. This defense didn't blink. They hung in there, waited for them. Right at the 50-yard line. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And Walker had now a loose football. The ball comes out, and it's picked up by the Buccaneers. He's at the 30. 10, 5, and he Turns it to the end zone. A fumble recovery touchdown for the Bucs. Even the great ones, some of the best, they're not immune to the fumble, and here it really hurts them. If the ball gets away from any runner's body, that's when the defense pokes at it, swipes at it, swats at it, and finds a way to create a big play for themselves. Now, nowadays, they're really wide receivers who are just taller and have a little bit more weight. These guys catch the football, make big plays downfield. In the old days, we wanted them to block. Now coaches want them to catch the football first. Operating from the gun, Richards. And that is caught. Touchdown, Indianapolis. A great effort there as the first half is winding down. And the Colts would extend their lead here just before halftime. CD for them. This has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah. Now Jones on third down. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. Third down, passing down. They throw the extra defensive back in there for a nickel package, and it worked out. And it's not anything that you would think is just great strategy. It's just that when you have five defensive backs on the field and an obvious passing down, it's a lot tougher to complete a pass. And on that play, they completed it just to the wrong team. Play fake. Murray. And this one incomplete. Threw it down at the feet of his receiver. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Again, they'll throw with Murray. Going right side here, and that's complete. And all the 
way in for a Cincinnati score. A great effort there. His first touchdown here of the new campaign. And they are able to add on to their advantage. Well, they had their chances in the first half, you remember, but had to settle for two field goals. This time, they come away with six. I think they actually got affirmation about what they were doing by getting a touchdown. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. Mahomes now on first down. And this is taken in at the five. Touchdown, Panthers. Garrett Wilson. His ninth touchdown of the season. And the Panthers are on the board first here this afternoon. The Charles here in their opening series, they said they had certain plays scripted for certain players. That looked like a well-designed play to get one of their top targets involved. Yeah, let's face it, Brandon. A player of his talent is a problem for any opponent to defend, and we saw it right there. They tried to deny an open lane to him. He still outplayed the coverage and scored the early touchdown. Good luck trying to figure out how to defend him as this game moves on. So that challenge is successful one. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. Now a handoff up the middle. Hutchins, and he takes it into the end zone for a Panthers touchdown. A great play there. His second rushing touchdown on the year. And the Panthers marching right down the field on their opening drive to take the early lead. Well, they move the ball down the field through the air, Charles, and then finally they get the